Just because we're heading toward fall doesn't mean you need to quit planting in your yard or garden. Adam Bachman is here to show us some perennials and shrubs with excellent fall color. Adam, That's great right. to have you yeah. with us. Good morning. Fall is actually a pretty good time to plant most things, right? Right, other than evergreens, really. You know, okay. We sort of say fall is for planting. So um, one of the things I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about is because fall is such a good time for planting, take the time to assess your soil. Okay. Hopefully you can look at it, do a soil test, and figure out really what you need. What's a soil test? So you can do these soil tests. Um, you can kind of do very basic soil tests mm -hmm. that will give you um, some nutrient levels or acidity levels, or you can go to the other end of the spectrum and you can send soil samples to the University of Minnesota huh. and they will give you kind of the full breakdown. It's kind of a of small that. charge for that, but they'll they'll break down your soil. Yep, yep. Okay. And it's nice because then you can figure out exactly what it's you lacking. Spend or, a couple hundred dollars on a tree or something. You want to make sure right. you want to make sure it grows. Hmm. Yeah. So if you do nothing else, if you if you don't do that soil test, use some sort of plant starter or root stimulator, especially for fall planting. Um, it's all about the roots and, and getting the roots established before we get cold here. So there's an organic option, which is great. You mix it into the soil. One of the things you want to make sure you're doing is digging the hole twice as wide as the container that it's in. Okay. Um, that will allow for the roots to uh, penetrate the soil. And when you're using the organic version, you mix that in with the soil. Got it. Um, and then Perfect. there's also another version that you would use um, mixing with water. And then as you're watering in, you use that. So again, if you do nothing else, at Definitely do use that. some sort of plant starter or root stimulator. Okay. And with perennials and shrubs right now, they really extend the beauty of your garden late into the season. You can see here with some of these selections, they're, they're just coming into bloom right now. I've talked about it many times on the show. Um, sedum, one of my favorites, many different varieties. Um, talking to somebody else coming in here, uh, they really enjoyed the monarchs that we're visiting. Oh, yeah. their sedum. Sure. So, That's fun. Um, the color is great. Mm -hmm. The color is great. You can get lots of different colors with the sedum. Uh, another item we've talked about, coral bells or hookara is a great shade option. Yeah. And again, many, many different colors. Awesome looks like fall. fall colors. It looks perfect for that. We will even use these and other people will in like a fall combination planter mm. that you'd put in a pot. Nice. Um, sure. Yeah, yeah. What's this? It looks so like a little caterpillar. So that's fun. I thought maybe you guys would like that. I thought <laughs> the do. same thing. It's called uh, Blue Grandma. Uh, it's a Blue Grandma oh, grass. Great name. Great name. I um, think of Blue Grandmas when I look at this. <laughs> yeah, and just like you said, it looks like little caterpillars or grasshoppers or something. It's uh, cool. Perched up there. It is yeah. very cool. Fun in the wind. So lots of of different ornamental grasses, uh, hydrangeas. These are some shrub. classics. Yeah, 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 some classics. Um, Coreopsis in front, uh, Rubecchia for the, the Black Eyed Susan. So lots of really good perennial options. And the other thing about now, lots of stuff is on sale. So your oh, dollars go a little bit further. That is go. nice. Yeah, I've been sale. shopping myself. I'm yeah. ready. It's, good. it's time to refresh awesome. things a bit. Adam, thank you. Thank you, guys.